I love Nintendo Switch Sports for what it is, but look, I think we can all agree that it doesn't quite live up to the previous heights of the series, like the level of content available in Wii Sports Resort. So what could they add with free updates and any potential paid DLC to improve the game? These are the top seven things that would make Nintendo Switch Sports legendary. And number one, it's global friend queuing. We all know the bulk of the content for this game is the online mode, especially the Pro League. We also have the ability to play with our friends over the internet, which is so cool. But for some reason, that's separate. You can't currently lobby up with online buddies and play Pro League together. Multiplayer Pro League is locked to just local play, i.e. you and another IRL person kicking the snot out of people in Pro together, and with the best will in the world, that just kinda sucks. There are certain sports, looking at you soccer, that would greatly benefit from coordinated play due to the team-based nature of those sports, and the lack of ability to do that with friends over the internet is absolutely frustrating. I think it would create an additional incentive to play and would allow for some really dope content creators to do some cool collaborations, which could further influence sales, let's be real. And number two, choice of online match. This is mostly aimed at bowling, but there are other instances that apply here. Essentially, choice of type of match that you enter online would be nice. Specifically though, I'm talking about the option to play standard or special bowling. Some people love it, some people don't, some people like me don't really care either way. And I've got to say, I do understand why the game makes you do it. If you're meant to be good at bowling, it means knowing your mechanics very well, so avoiding obstacles helps training in a different way. I do feel that maybe after a certain rank is achieved though, let's say B for example, you should be able to go into the settings menu and choose whether you enter specific types of matches. Now this could also apply to Chambra. You could only face the same sword type as you for example, or in tennis, you could only face one other player at a time, not double ups when they're playing local. Reason I say that is because there is a small advantage with the frequency of swing that they can do that you can't perform when it's just you. It's a small quality of life change, but it could really help a few people out, and as I said, I'm not overly fussed about facing these challenges online, but it would be good either way. At number three, different rage quit mechanics. Sticking with online for now, of course, how many times have you been playing a match, getting close to winning, and then the other person rage quits? You've wasted your time and you don't get any points towards cosmetics or league rank. Not only that, there is no punishment for the player disconnecting and that is really, really bad. I know some people have internet issues which would need to be negotiated around of course, but there needs to be some sort of deterrent to stop this from happening. I literally had five tennis matches in a row yesterday have the other player disconnect once I got to match point, which is genuinely irritating to deal with, especially because I don't really like tennis. I know I'm not alone here, so either a proportionate amount of points needs to be given to the player who didn't disconnect, or some points get removed from the player who repeatedly rage quits. Maybe they stick that person in the naughty zone server for a little while or something like that, and have a separate server for people who keep doing rage quits. Either way, there needs to be some different mechanics. And number four, cosmetics. This point is really a two birds, one stone situation, so it's basically the next two points combined, but they're sort of under the same umbrella, so it's worth mentioning them at the same time. The customization for Nintendo Switch Sports is online only. That's a fact, it's also a problem, but it's also an opportunity. The problem is that there should be a range to unlock offline, even if it's basic ones, with the more interesting cosmetics being available online as an incentive to play there, since cosmetics are an end game of this title. That should be addressed to incentivize more players who don't like to use online, maybe with a shop and an offline point system separate to the online one. Or maybe you can use online points offline as well, but not offline points for online customizations. There's, there's definitely a way around it, but the point is with the online customizations is that it gives the opportunity to do some really awesome event and seasonal collaborations. So perhaps over Halloween, we can get spooky themed cosmetics. Maybe New Year presents us with some party themed ones for the year we're entering. Or even better, around the time of Breath of the Wild 2 or Pokemon Scarlet and Violet release, we could have limited time event cards to unlock special cosmetics based around those games. Just imagine it. Like, honestly, my main incentive for saying this is because I want to play Chambro with the Master Sword, but you could also bowl a Morph Ball. You could slap Pokeballs around with the tennis racket or be dressed up like the Inklings from the cover of Splatoon 3. It would create interest in this game and in the other game. It's a great cross promotion technique, and I sincerely hope Nintendo does this to help create fond memories and memes for people. Number five, offline modes. So we've spoken about online a lot and the thing with online is not everyone who plays this game actually wants to play online. 
Some people are happy to have a single player experience against CPUs, but Nintendo Switch Sports is incredibly online focused and therefore limited in its offline modes. When you go offline, it's just the standard format for sports against other people with limited alternate modes. You can do some special bowling lanes, some soccer free play, the shootout mode, as well as change CPU difficulties, but really that is the extent of the offline mode and that's not really good enough. Oh, you can also do tennis best of three or five, but you can't do that for badminton or volleyball, whoop de doo I am certain though that the range of modes available in Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort is what gave it such replayability a made way to create positive memories for people. Additional modes will get people engaged even beyond the pro leagues and give more to do for those people who don't want to go online or don't have internet access. It's really not hard to think of things to add as well. High scores for sports, 100 pin bowling, speed slice for Chambra, target practice for soccer and tennis, badminton rally challenges, time challenges for volleyball. You could also encompass Wii Sports Resort style stamps and achievements to earn as well, encouraging us to get better at the game or play in specific and different ways. Things like this would just really add and bolster the content of the game without adding any additional sports. We know they're adding a new mode for soccer, so it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility for more to be added as well. And number six, more sports. We, we know they're adding more sports. I feel like this is an easy addition to the list. It's a bit of a given, but it's worth noting anyway. Golf and the amount of content that that brings, which is likely to be 21 holes, will help fill the game out, and I hope it brings even more challenges offline too. But I do think we need even more sports to fill the game. Now, I am hoping that this will come in the form of free updates. Failing that, a paid DLC with a whole bunch of sports like a sports resort or a winter sports themed DLC would be awesome and honestly make the game feel a little bit more whole. It's got a decent amount of sports right now, but the extra sports would really help with the longevity of the game and really feel like it's a bit fuller content wise. And the final thing to improve Nintendo Switch sports, this one is really for me, a sound test mode. It's a bit left field, but I think a sound team did a really amazing job with this game. The thing is, as discussed in the podcast I did with Crafty Type 1 and Wipeout Jack 7, the music in the game doesn't have a high quality version. Each cool filter sound they use is its own track, so separate tracks can't be heard in their sweet, smooth, full intended quality. And I think that a separate sound test mode in settings to listen to all the music would just be an awesome addition. It would also mean that I can get more songs to use as backing track for videos and that's always a good thing. More importantly though, we can have a proper way to appreciate the awesome music for this lovely, lovely title. And so, my friends, that is what I think Nintendo Switch Sports needs to bring the game to the same level of prowess and awesomeness as its predecessors from the Wii. I think that these quality of life and content additions would add enough to the game in order to make it feel just so amazing and give us something to come back to time and time again for years to come. So is there anything glaring that I've missed in my list or do you have any better ideas? Let's have a chat down in the comments and remember to hit subscribe, it really helps me out and you'll get to see lots of awesome Switch Sports content incoming. Thanks to my patrons like Rain, I Love Waffles 1311 and Sick Hippie for their amazing support through Patreon of course. I'm Master Trainer Peter and I'll see you for the next video.